What's up everybody? This is a kind of an odd uh, vlog I'm going to do, but uh, I'm going to try and do some hydro dipping tonight, like the old school um, spray paint hydro dipping. So I'm going to kind of show you what I've got, what I'm going to do. Here. So in front of me right here, I've got this howler, part of a howler, that I want camouflaged. So, and then right here is the other piece to the howler. Uh, we're not going to dip that because that doesn't need to be dipped. So, I've got a pair of needle nose pliers, an old junkie set because they're going to get painted. I've got my howler. Then I have some brown Rust Oleum camouflage paint, some Coyote Tan, and some OD Green. I don't know what kind of... I have no clue what kind of pattern I'm going to get on this, but it's going to be interesting. So, without further ado, let me kind of show you what I've done to set this up. So I have this bucket, and inside the bucket it's about three quarters full with water. Nothing but water. Um, I've got my Grandview Media. This is the Predator Extreme little flyer thing. This is going to pull the paint inside when I pull it out, I hope. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray these three colors of paint into the water. Then I'm going to stir it up just a little bit. And uh, I'm going to see if I can make a cool camouflage pattern like Tiger Stripe or Cryptek or anything. But I don't think this is my first time ever doing it, so I don't know. I've got to figure a way to prop my camera up so you guys can see what's going on. So let me see if I've got something that will work. This may just work. I'll try and like hold my phone while I'm doing this. Maybe if I can get this a little bit closer. Oh, and I'm doing this in my house. Luckily, my nanny's not here. <laughs> and my kids aren't here to see me lead by a bad example. So I'm going to use an old coffee, coffee canister. And I'm going to put my phone... Uh, right like this. Hopefully it doesn't fall in. And let's turn it just a hair. And... Okay, I think we'll be set. Oops, I keep moving things. Let me just get it, make sure we're set. So, you guys can see what's going on. <coughs> I watched a YouTube tutorial on this just a little while ago. So, I'm gonna kinda use the brown as the out, outer layer. Let's see what happens. So, oh, okay. So now we got kind of brown in there, but it's not looking too good. I didn't think it was going to splatter water like this. Okay, we have brown. Put a little green in there somewhere. I don't know where, but let's. Maybe like that. Okay. And now we're gonna do some coyote tan. No clue where it's going to go. <coughs> and this don't in hell is correct, Chad. Because I might get high while I'm doing this shit. Okay, so now we kind of have a little bit of a pattern going. Let's add a little bit more to it. 
helps out a little bit more. And brown. Well, that brown doesn't look like it's sticking very good. So let's just use green. going to kind of steer everything looks like I need to add more paint because it's just not so thick so let's put a little bit of whatever color this is oh that's brown we don't want any more brown but let's put some more OD green. And, whew, there we go. A little bit of, and, there we go. That looks a little bit better. So now I'm going to try and steer it. Make some pattern, I don't know. No clue what I'm doing. That brown just doesn't work wanna work, so Okay, so you can kind of see the pattern. So now what I'm gonna do, I may need to add more paint. I, I think I need to add more paint. So let's do more OD green. Pretty good. So I've taped, you can see I've taped the edge right here. And now we're just going to kind of come in at an angle. kind of worked in some of it and some of it it didn't let's dip just a little bit more now that kind of looks interesting so now we will set it down like that and let it dry so now we have as you can see it looks much swirled camel paint kind of We'll see how it turns out when it dries. That look, came out, I think, kind of cool. But we'll find out how well it did when we're... So, that was uh, 
It was a pretty cool little project, and I did it for under ten dollars. Um, the Kansas brand were I think two and a half bucks a piece at Walmart, and the bucket I went to Ace Hardware and bought it Ace Hardware for like two fifty or something like that. So three Kansas paint and a bucket, and then whatever you have, you know, that you want to dip. Um, I just watched some tutorial on uh, how to do this, and yeah, this is definitely a redneck hydro dip, and uh, it looks kind of cool. Yeah. Kind of see down in the water again. I don't know how good of a pro I am, because that didn't, I mean, I guess it came out halfway okay. We'll see what happens when it dries. So there you have it. Um, homemade spray spray paint hydro dipping. We're going to use this call tomorrow. Out in the field. So hopefully it looks this good tomorrow. Um, I may have oversaturated it with paint just a hair bit much in some spots. But looks kind of interesting. Anyway, there's there's your little tutorial on how to do your own hydro dipping, save you a ton of money. Um, and uh, I already showed the reed once, Chad. Here's the reed. So, oh, hold on. Let me flip my camera. So. The reed goes in here at the top, and that's the reed right there, and uh, then we have, voila, the power. So, there you go. Um, we're going to try it out tomorrow. Me and, me and Chad Clark are uh, heading out and going to go calling some dogs in the morning, um, all day tomorrow. Um, Hopefully we'll kill a couple for you guys. If we're in phone service, I will do a live feed or two um, to kind of show you what we do when we do a stand. And uh, hopefully we can call in a dog on live feed and kill it for you. We've come close a couple of times, um, but haven't been really successful at it on a live feed. But I think we will tomorrow, as long as we're in service. Chad, are we going to be on service tomorrow? <laughs> Thank you, Greg Barnes, and uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, we've got some good things coming in the near future. Sunday night, we'll be in doing a, another live feed on our cooking stuff. Um, we're going to be cooking up elk Sunday night, so tune in. I'm planning on about 5.30 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time on Friday, or Sunday, excuse me. So tune in and we'll show you some good recipes on elk. Have a good night.